The goal is to make a clear lip gloss as well as a brown and a red lip gloss, which will hopefully all go to plan. So definitely keep watching for that. Here's how to make your own natural lip gloss. Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and today we're making lip gloss. Lip gloss is making a comeback right now, so I thought it would be super fun to see if I could make a natural version of lip gloss. There are a lot of pros to making your own lip gloss, and for this recipe, it's completely all natural, and I'll be using ingredients like castor oil, almond oil, and almond wax. If we pull this off, I think we're really onto something. First, start by measuring out our ingredients. We're using castor oil as a base. It has a natural thick consistency that will give our lip gloss its glossy sheen. Almond oil will provide nourishment and lasting moisture. And almond wax is our thickening agent that will give our lip gloss its body and signature texture. Pour the castor and almond oil along with the almond wax into a heat proof glass. Unlike store bought lip glosses which tend to dry out your skin, this natural recipe protects and moisturizes the lips in a similar way to lip balm. might have seen from the ingredients list but this is an oil based lip gloss recipe so to make your own lip gloss you can have an oil based one which uses oils and waxes to give it that thick silky texture if you try to make a water based lip gloss recipe even though they're more popular as soon as you add any sort of water based product like glycerin or aloe vera gel you automatically need to add a preservative and then if you want to add any oils into that mixture you then need to add an emulsifier on top of that now I do explain what all of these ingredients are how to get them and how to get natural versions in my beginner's guide to lotion making which you can click above but to make this easy and realistic I'm just going to be using an oil based recipe and therefore you don't need to worry about any sort of preservatives on top of that I'm only going to be using natural ingredients to create color in my lip gloss so I've opted for beetroot powder and cocoa powder and if you did watch my failed attempt at natural lipsticks video that will be linked above I have actually used these two ingredients before with varying results but we'll see how it goes this time there are actually quite a few natural dyes that you can use unfortunately i don't have any and i thought it'd be kind of fun to use ingredients that you're more likely to have at home or at least be able to buy on short notice so that's the basic breakdown on our ingredients let's get back into making this lip gloss to make our lip gloss we'll need to melt our oils and wax I'd recommend using a gentle heat like a bain marie as high heat can degrade the ingredients. Once everything's melted, we can move on to adding fragrances and colors to make our tinted lip gloss. Whilst we don't need a preservative in this recipe, using an antioxidant like vitamin E oil will help prevent our lip gloss from turning rancid. Measure out your vitamin E oil, as well as any essential oils you'd like to use for fragrance. I'm going for a mixture of citrus and floral scents by using orange and lemon essential oils along with bergamot oil. You can use whatever combination of essential oils you like but make sure that they don't add up to more than 1% of your mixture, otherwise they can start to irritate your skin. So, I wanted a liquid lip gloss, as in one that fits into one of these tubes, or maybe those squeezy tubes, or even the rollerball types. What I did not want were the ones that come in a pot. I do know that when you search for sort of lip gloss recipes online, they're usually ones that are like, almost like a lip balm and I didn't want that because part of the fun of a lip gloss at least in my opinion is to actually have the applicator and you you know that's just part of the whole experience so because I demanded that it was a liquid lip gloss that obviously made things a little bit more difficult to recreate in terms of a natural version but generally I actually think that they come out really well for a clear lip gloss use the mixture as is and simply pour into a lip gloss container this is a natural liquid lip gloss recipe so you'll need to use a container with a dofa applicator or a squeeze tube rather than a lip balm style container. I don't have anything on my lips at the moment so I'm trying out the clear lip balm. I 
I do like the clear, I like the coverage, it's very light, it doesn't really feel, other than like this kind of slipperiness, I think that it feels pretty normal. It feels really nice. To make a natural tinted lip gloss, I'll be using cocoa powder and beetroot powder. Regular cocoa powder is finely milled and will provide a rich chocolate pigment to our lip gloss base. Try to use 100% plain cocoa powder with no added flavours or sweeteners. Beetroot powder will create a rosy pink tinted lip gloss. Once again, use only 100% finely milled beetroot powder for best results. To create our coloured lip gloss, we'll need to work quickly before our lip gloss mixture starts to set, which will then make it harder to incorporate the colour evenly. Add the cocoa powder to the lip gloss base we made earlier and mix thoroughly. The more cocoa you add, the stronger the colour your lip gloss base will have. So this is the brown lip gloss that we made using the cocoa powder. It's a very subtle brown colour but I definitely can see that um, it's there and it smells delicious it smells like chocolate orange again it has a, the same texture as the first one in that it's very sort of um, liquidy it kind of feels like it's gonna dry but it doesn't dry <laughs> but I, I really like I really like the color of it I think it's um, yeah it's a winner so now we're getting into kind of the nitty gritty of what you can expect if you follow this recipe. Um, the biggest standout feature isn't really the way it looks, I think it does look a lot like normal lip gloss. It's more the texture. Um, I would say that regular lip glosses are sticky, this is um, slippery. Yeah, I'm not sure that's an improvement. <laughs> It just takes some getting used to, it almost feels like when you apply it to your lips that you're waiting for it to dry but it just never dries. It's very, very slippery. And I think in the same way as you got used to the sticky texture, you can get used to this, but it's definitely a shock to the system. <laughs> it's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. And I think probably the biggest pro to even attempting this recipe is it's really not very difficult to make and it looks like lip gloss. It might feel a little weird, but most importantly, it's actually very hydration and nourishing on your lips. Almond wax is derived from almond oil, so it carries all the benefits with it. And then of course, you've got the castor oil and the vitamin E oil, which is just an amazing ingredient to have on your skin and putting your skincare products. So for me, that does make it at least worth attempting see if you can kind of get used to this whole um liquidy feeling <laughs> for our red tinted lip gloss add the beetroot powder to your natural lip gloss base try to mix this one in as best as you can but yeah i'm thinking this is about as good as it's gonna get i'm not looking forward to trying this i can already see the little grainy bits of beetroot powder um, so I can only imagine what this is going to feel like <laughs> when it's on my lips I don't notice how grainy it is it's only when I rub them together that I can feel the, the beetroot powder <laughs> if it has a color I think it's very very subtle and that's probably because as you can see not all the color really got into the lip gloss itself it's kind of just in little dots it's, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be it is grainy I definitely don't think that this is wearable um, but at the same time it's not horrible this is not a repeat of the natural lipsticks I tried I've actually been wearing it the entire time and I haven't touched up anything so it does do a good job 
Um, what I would say, however, is only two of the three colours I made do a good job. The clear one, it's great. It's weird because it doesn't look clear, it kind of looks more frosted, but it is actually clear when it applies on your lips. The cocoa powder one, again, no complaints, it's really lovely. Um, I kind of knew it would be because of the lipstick video I made already, but cocoa powder works really well when it comes to colouring things. So it's a, it's a soft brown, but it's definitely visible and it's a really lovely colour and texture. The beetroot powder. Yet again, beetroot has let me down. I just wouldn't even bother unless there is like some ultra fine beetroot powder which just isn't available to me. I would just skip trying to use beetroot powder as a colorant. I think if you're generally interested in making your own lip gloss, I would just go down the route of buying a natural colorant and adding that to the recipe. It would be a lot easier than trying to use food like products and making that your colorant. Um, lip glosses are usually like the main thing that starts breaking people out and giving them rashes and various other things because there's just so many ingredients in them. This is a much more simplified recipe so it might be worth trying particularly if you do have sensitive skin and you don't really have very good luck with lip products. This is a nice way to still get a lip gloss without necessarily all those other ingredients that you usually find in commercial brands. But yeah it definitely does have a couple downsides. <laughs> I don't know, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. And for even more natural skincare, do subscribe to my channel. I have things like makeup wipes, lotions, shampoos, cleansers, all sorts on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Thanks for watching. I'm going to count two out of three as a win for lip gloss. Check out the playlist below for even more natural skincare and tutorials.